So I want to take a second and talk a little bit about the hopper load wheel that we have in all the global mechanical sweepers. Um, typically when you're sweeping in a, in a mechanical sweeper, material goes up the elevator and into the hopper. Uh, a lot of other sweepers don't have the ability to shift the load in it. Oftentimes you'll see where operators will speed up and tap the brakes to try and distribute the load inside the hopper. With your new global you don't have to worry about that. We have a feature that's built in on every machine and it's called a, a load wheel. Okay. So what's happening is as you're sweeping materials coming up your elevator and getting thrown into the hopper, this load wheel device is tied into the same hydraulic system that's moving that elevator system. So that material is coming into the hopper and this motor is spinning at a high rate of speed. There's three uh, fins on this that are curved and they are taking that material and launching it all the way to the rear of your hopper. It's going to hit the back wall of your hopper, slide down and start packing your hopper out from the rear of the hopper to the front of the hopper. Now what's also nice about this is that there is a, a speed sensor on that, that load wheel device. Okay, and, and as you start packing that out and material builds up against that load wheel, uh, basically your hopper becomes full. There's a little buzzer and a light that's going to go off in the cab. And it's going to say load wheel stall on it. That's your hopper full. It's telling you, you really don't have any more room to pack any more material into that hopper. It's time to go and dump. Now what can happen from time to time is you may pick up your random rock or a 2x4 or something that's going to hit that just wrong and get wedged in there. There is a switch inside the hopper, load wheel reverse switch, that allows you to hit that. It's an intermittent switch. You have to hold it down and it will spin that load wheel in reverse and it can potentially kick any of that material that, that's stuck or wedged in there uh, out. Now there's not a lot of torque on that when you go ahead and throw it in reverse so occasionally if something does become come wedged in there you have to shut everything off and physically remove whatever is wedged in there uh, but that should be very very rare uh, if that happens so uh, typically just operating that load wheel reverse switch is enough to discharge any of that material that's in there um, but just want you to be aware of, of what that system is and how it's working in conjunction with the elevator to ensure that you're getting nice full loads of material every time that you go out and sweep.